The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, is conducting research in silent supersonic transport technologies, using results from a flight test in Australia. The goal is to design a silent supersonic transport that is economically viable and eco-friendly for travel in the 21st century. One of the biggest challenges in supersonic transportation is reducing sonic booms that are heard when shock waves reach the ground during supersonic flight. JAXA's new project called Descend conducts flight tests to examine its own design concepts and to demonstrate the technological advantages of them to the world. As part of the DESCEND project, experimental airplanes are dropped from a large stratospheric balloon. This is a simple way to achieve supersonic flight. The project is being conducted in two phases, DESCEND number one and DESCEND number two. The experimental airplanes separate from the balloon at an altitude of about 30 kilometers. During freefall, they reach supersonic speed and generate sonic booms. Microphones suspended one kilometer above the ground are used to verify any reduction in the sonic boom. The drop tests are conducted at the S-Range test site, Kiruna, Sweden. A sonic boom measurement system is installed to monitor four locations at the test site. This makes it possible to measure the sonic booms generated by the experimental airplanes no matter where they separate from the balloon in the test site area. The four boom measurement systems are controlled remotely from the control center near the balloon launch site. During descend number one, two differently shaped axisymmetric test bodies are used. The shorter one generates a regular N-wave signature, the kind of sonic boom waves made by conventional supersonic transport. The other test body has a long, slim configuration. The intensity of its sonic boom is only about half that of the N-wave signature. The two test bodies rise up to an altitude of about 30 kilometers on the large stratospheric balloon. They are dropped in sequence after they enter one of four zones where a sonic boom can be measured by a boom measurement system. When the two test bodies reach supersonic speed, they generate sonic booms forward and perpendicular to the Mach cone angle. These sonic booms are measured by the boom measurement system on the ground. In addition, the speed, position, and attitude of the test bodies are transmitted to the equipment on the ground. JAXA is developing a new type of unmanned experimental airplane based on JAXA's own low sonic boom design concepts. It weighs one ton and is eight meters long. The tip is shaped like a duck bill, while the rear has a wavy, somewhat flat shape. This configuration comes from JAXA's own technical concepts. The experimental airplane is dropped from an altitude of 30 kilometers at the right timing, like the test bodies dropped in descend number one. After a short free fall, it glides over one of the four boom measurement system locations at a speed of about Mach 1.3, following a flight path angle of 50 degrees. The sonic boom stretches down vertically to the ground. Data obtained from the drop tests and JAXA's aerial boom measurement method will help improve low sonic boom design technology 
and contribute to the establishment of international environmental standards covering sonic booms. JAXA intends to keep up its work to develop better technologies for a new, more silent supersonic transport.